Hi, today we're going to be discussing the salaries of medical specialists employed in the public sector in South Africa. I'm Manithan Ryan, a medical doctor with more than 20 years of experience in the healthcare sector. Join me as we look at medical specialist salaries in South Africa. Today we're going to be discussing medical specialist salaries in South Africa. We're going to be looking at how the salaries were derived, the different aspects to the salaries, the different gradings, and lastly, how are you going to use this information to further your career? Medical specialist salaries has three aspects to it. The total cost to employer, rural or inhospitable allowance, and overtime. I'm going to go through all three aspects and how the salary is derived. In 2009, after an unprecedented strike, doctors negotiated a system referred to as the Occupational Specific Dispensation. This system divided the doctors into three career pathing. One is the general practitioner stream, the second is a specialist stream, and the third is the management stream. So today we're looking at the specialist stream. The specialist stream is broken up into three aspects. One being a training aspect where a medical officer post-community service can become a registrar and train for four years to become a specialist. The second option is to become a subspecialist or once you've completed your specialist or registrar training and registered as a specialist you become a senior registrar and study a further four years to become a subspecialist or super specialist. So the specialist grade one two and three and a subspecialist grade one two and three are production grade specialists and finally we come to the supervisory specialist which is the head of clinical unit grade one and head of department grade one and two the salary is based on three aspects as i explained the total cost to employer we are discussing is based on the 2019 2020 salary then there's overtime and rural allowances Let's look at the overtime categories. As a production grade specialist, specialist grade one, two, and three, you will be working 13 to 20 hours per week. As a supervisory specialist, being either head of clinical unit or head of clinical department, you are restricted to working five to 12 hours per week and then paid, and then paid an average of eight hours per week. So let's look at the salaries. As a registrar year one, post community service, you earn 1,052,218 Rand per annum, netting 58,093 Rand per month. The overtime hours are 16, and as a senior registrar, once you've completed your four years as a registrar and passed your exam and have registered as a specialist, you can either become a senior registrar or a specialist grade one. The both, both the salaries are 1,106,040 Rand. This is dependent on the availability of a senior registrar post or a specialist post. The overtime hours at 16 hours per week is 412,921, giving you a gross of 1,418,311 and a net salary of 75,357.46. As a specialist grade two, your salary now moves to 1,264,623. As the total cost to employer package. You would note that a subspecialist grade one, after completing the senior registrar four years, can take up a position of subspecialist grade one on his fifth year or her fifth year. And the salary here being 1,283,601, which is about 20,000 Rand more than a specialist grade two 
who after five years have of completion earns 20,000 less. So it seems that being a subspecialist gives you a slight advantage. But let's look at a specialist grade 3. As you see, a subspecialist grade 2 and a specialist grade 3 both have the same salary, giving you a gross salary of 1,882,017 rands and a net of 96,206. As you would see, a specialist grade 3 on the last notch and a subspecialist grade 3 on the last notch have the same salary, but gross salary being 2,352,940 and your net salary being 116,906 rand. Now let us look at the effect of the inhospitable allowance and rural allowance. As a registrar, your salary increases around 5,000 for inhospitable allowance and 6,000 for rural. So from 58,093, you move up to 64,310. The senior registrar, similarly, you move up about 7 and, and 8,000. A specialist grade 1, similarly, 7 to 8,000. Specialist grade 2, move up between 8 and 9,000 rands. Specialist grade 3, 8 and 10,000 rands and a specialist grade 3 move up between 11 and 13,000 rands per month. Next we will look at the head of clinical unit and head of clinical department. Overtime is usually capped at 8 hours or group 2 for the heads of clinical unit and head of clinical department as this is a supervisory role and we expect it to be more of a supervisory nature than a production nature. The head of clinical unit grade 2 on the last notch earns a gross salary of 2,264,729 and a net of 112,305 after taxes and pension. The head of clinical department, grade 1, the salary improves to 2,368,191.46, giving a net salary of 116,895. The head of clinical department on the last notch is 2,748,385 rand 61, giving you a net salary of 133,410. So how does rural and inhospitable allowances affect the salary? The head of clinical unit, grade 1, salary improves by about 10,000 and 12,000 respectively for inhospitable and rural allowances. So from 96,000, the head of clinical unit grade one moves to 106,119 rand 99 and 108,338 rand 63. The head of clinical unit grade two, the salary improves by 11,000 and 14,000 respectively. Similarly, as we go through all, we see there's a vast increase in salaries ranging from 12, 14 to eventually on the last notch as a head of clinical department grade two, the salary increases approximately by 14 and 18,000 rand more. These are incentives for specialists to move into the more rural provinces and more rural districts within provinces. So what does this mean? Recapping. Is it better to be a production grade specialist or a supervisory grade specialist? Looking at the specialist grade 3 on a production level, specialist grade 3 on a production level earns more than a head of clinical unit grade two on the last notch. So what does this mean for doctors? Is it better to be a production grade specialist or is it better to be a head of clinical unit? Well, the answer lies with pension payouts. Your total cost or your basic salary is lower as a specialist grade three, whilst the head of clinical unit grade two on the last notch earns a higher basic salary. 
So when pension pay, payout are calculated, it's based on your basic salary. I would speak to a financial advisor, get more information for deciding on a career path, whether you want to be a head of clinical unit or remain as a specialist grade three or a production grade specialist. The, the, the other advantage of being a specialist or head of clinical unit is that you can get to this position at a much quicker time than as a specialist grade three. So now that we've looked at the salaries, you can, as a specialist, you can decide which areas to pursue. One is to continue as a generalist specialist. Two, as to, to subspecialize and become a subspecialist. The third option is to join academia and the teaching program and join a university. The, the fourth option is to take up a supervisory role as a head of clinical unit or head of clinical department. And finally, one can go into the private sector or emigrate or immigrate. These are the options as a specialist. Thank you for joining me today, looking at the salaries of specialists employed in the public sector in South Africa. If you like what you heard, press the like button. If you want to hear more content of this nature, press the subscribe button. Thank you for joining me once again. Till next time.